We had pineapple left over. What are you going to do with about half a cup of pineapple? Well, we're going to make pineapple cookies. A pineapple cream cheese cookie. This is the way we get started. I have put one stick of butter in the microwave for 25 seconds and I've let that get nice and soft. I have here four ounces of softened cream cheese and we've softened it by just letting it set out for 30 minutes. Mash that in just a little bit. Don't have to get too much. And to that then we're going to add one cup of sugar. Now we're going to mix. Okay, now you can see how light and fluffy that is. That's really nice. To that I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. and one egg. This is large. One large egg. We're just gonna mix that all in together. Okay, I have that mixed up and here I'm going to take two cups of all-purpose flour and to that I'm going to add one teaspoon of um, baking powder. I've got to clean my teaspoon. Okay, I'm going to add that right in with the flour and half a teaspoonful of salt. And I'm just going to kind of mix that together a little bit. I don't like all of the salt or the baking soda, baking powder, either one. Uh, lump together. I want it kind of mixed in with the flour just a little bit before I add it to my wet ingredients. That way it doesn't make a lump. Sometimes you'll get a lump in there and you'll think, what is that? Uh, that's your baking soda or baking powder, either one. Mix that in. Okay, now it'll pull away from the bowl and it's a very thick dough. And then to that I'm going to add three-fourths cup of drained pineapple and you need to mash the water out of this. You don't want a lot of extra liquid in your cookie. And then I'm just going to, I'm mixing with a fork. Just mix that in. Okay, we've got that mixed in where that you can see it's pretty, pretty well mixed in. I'm going to take my cookie sheet with a, it has uh, your parchment paper on there. And this is a little melon scoop. It probably holds about one and a half teaspoons. And I'm just going to kind of not, I'm not going to pile that up a lot, but enough to where that it makes a nice size little cookie. And I'm just going to put it out on there. Now once we get all of these filled up and I'll be able to get 12 cookies on this cookie sheet because it is a, I think, what is that, about a 9 by 14. I'm going to put that in the refrigerator and let it set for 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, into the oven it goes. It's been in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. Into the oven for anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, it has been 15 minutes. Now I want to show you, these are really light they do not look like they're done. They almost look like they're still dough. 
they're a little firm to the touch and if you was to look on the bottom you would see they're beginning to get very light brown now I'm going to leave them on the tray for five minutes then I'll take them off and put them on a cooling rack until they're completely cool okay while our cookies are beginning to cool let's do the icing and the icing part is one cup of confectioner sugar and you can use either one to two tablespoonfuls of the uh, pineapple juice off of the can. It depends on how thin you want your uh, icing to be. Now I'm going to do about one and a half because I want mine fairly thick. And the reason being, I'm going to top it with just a little bit of toasted coconut and to make the toasted coconut I put one and a half cups of sweetened coconut on a cookie sheet put it in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes after it had been in there about 10 minutes I stirred it up so we could get it nice and brown toasty on both sides and we're going to sprinkle that on top of our icing whenever we get it on the I'm going to put just a little more in there maybe a teaspoonful well that's not a teaspoonful you know how it is with powdered sugar it doesn't take much liquid to really thin it down so if you thin it down you need to take a little at a time I want it smooth, but I want mine sort of thick. Okay, this is more like cake icing. That's how I want mine. If you want yours to be thin, to just do a glaze, add at least two tablespoonfuls. Okay, we're going to drizzle just a little. We did this with some lemon cookies and with that lemony icing on top they were really good. If you haven't checked those out you might check those out on the channel too. Okay and then we're going to take a little bit of that toasted coconut, put that on the top. And we're going to try these out. And that is it. Please like and share.